Hi ladies, welcome back to another episode of Step Up. Today we're continuing where we left off last week, God's heart's desire for you. Don't go away, get your chocolate cake and get your hot chocolate. This is girls time. See you in a bit. Hi ladies, welcome back to Step Up. We are having such a good time last week. We couldn't stop talking. We had too much to say and that's why we are continuing today on this very topic. God's heart's desire for you and your heart's desire. That is really His heart's desire. And Linda is still with me. Oh, we talk and we talk and we talk. Linda, I'm so happy that you're still here. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Do we, we can not... talk forever. Forever we can, we we can, can talk, talk about forever. this. If you missed last week's episode, please go to the website. All the details is at the end of the show. And if you want to watch all the other episodes, it's on the website. Let me just quickly touch base on what we spoke about Previously, we spoke about your purpose in life is when you're doing and accomplishing the will of God on earth in your life that really puts a smile on his face. That's really what puts the yeah. smile mm -hmm. on your dad's face. Mm -hmm. We talked about be about your father's business. Mm -hmm. We spoke about how the magazine was burst, uh, which we're going to come back to in a minute as well. And the yes that you say to God when you say, yes. Lord, as Mary said, let it be done mm -hmm. unto me according to your word mm -hmm. from Luke 1, when yes. she said yes, when the angel visited her. Mm -hmm. When she said yes, she said yes to the whole plan of salvation. Same. So your yes and my yes brings other people in yes. alignment with yes. God. Yes. So we are continuing now on, on the prophetic word of God, your, your, your purpose in God, the prophetic which is actually your purpose. Yes. Yes. And that word releases the generational blessings yes, on your life. that's true. If you think, how did God create the earth? He spoke it into existence. How, did, well, how was Jesus created? He was spoken into existence when the angel gave Mary the word. So with a spoken word, a spoken prophetic word, the word of God spoken over your life actually creates life. So when something is spoken over you, um, we can kill it by speaking against it. So it's very important to, to, when the spoken word is there, to, to nurture it, mm. to nurture that word. And, and what happened with Lady Rosa as a legacy is where the name comes from, gift from God. After Justin was born, I really wanted a little girl. But I had a miscarriage in between. And um, just after the miscarriage, I, I didn't understand what was going on. But God actually took that, Romans 8, 28, and he made it, turn it around for mm. the better because God mm. does not give you something and then take it you away. It's the enemy that steals. And in that time, three months after that, in that time I had a dream about Kirsten, my second, the second one, the second girl, or the second child, the middle child. And she was about three years old in the dream with two ponytails. And she was laying on a cloud, kicking her legs and said, Mommy, don't worry, I'm on my way. Wow. And two weeks after that, I was pregnant with her. But within that wow. time, I dreamed about a pink rose. And then I went to look for the meaning, and rose means gift from God. Mm. And with Michaela, the same, Kirsten was about uh, three years old, and I dreamed I was redoing her room, and I was placing two pink roses. So I knew I was pregnant with a girl again. <laughs> and then Michaela came. So that's when, I, when God gave me the name Lady Rose Gift from God, mm. and why it's roses, because Jesus was the rose of Sharon. He was our gift. And when I started with Lady Rose, God said oh. to me that this will become the legacy that my daughters will carry through. This is a legacy that I'm building for them, for their destiny. So if I didn't say yes once again, I would have stopped their destiny, their legacy that yes. God has placed inside of them. Even, even while I was pregnant with them with the roses and the pink roses and the gift from God that God placed inside of me through them. So this is something that I know, even we, because we've got a whole beauty range and perfumes as well, that is a legacy that was given through prophecy that they're going to carry on. It's their inheritance that they're going to carry on with. So Linda, while you're speaking, I'm just thinking to myself, did you know how big was your no. yes when you said yes? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I said that a week ago to, to the girls in the office. I said to them, 
I think if I knew two years ago what we would go through and the the, the greatness of it and the cost of it mm. and all the back behind the scenes, then maybe I wouldn't have said yes. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe I would have stepped into the flesh, seeing mm. and felt overwhelmed. How could it be me? Yes. The how I could it be me yeah, face? Yeah, I would have felt overwhelmed. So looking back and seeing what God has done in two years' time, it's it's you feel wow. so small in God's big plan. So no, I didn't know. Mm. I just said yes, and the first five thousand was delivered, and from there God just took it. He took it, and and it's it's getting to a place where it's nationwide, um, it's going international. It's so into go, it's it, going worldwide. It's going worldwide, and He said that to me um, a while after I started. He said it's going to become a platform that will touch women internationally, worldwide. Yeah, so I didn't know. You see, ladies, we can talk. You, you don't understand when we say your yes, yes, the doors that your yes open. Yes. And what happens once the yes is being said. Yes. Because many of us don't understand. the. Because while you are talking, the Holy Spirit is showing me a torch. And this is what the Lord told me sometime about three weeks ago mm -hmm. in prayer. That the moment I say yes to my purpose, yes. I become a torch bearer in the sure. spirit. Amen. So what I do is I walk with a torch mm. in the spirit mm. and I connect. So what you're doing yes. is every woman that is walking with you yes. are connect. You are hitting them. You're touching them with your torch yes. and, and, you're, and you're lightening them up. Yes. You're lightening them up. Yes. So they come in alignment. So there's one great light that yes. is walking towards Amen. the plan of salvation for God for your life. So in the spirit, we are really torch bearers because we are legacy carriers. Mm. Yes, and th that is the thing where Satan comes in where he wants to stop that. He makes you feel insecure. He makes you feel, let's say you were called. Not worthy. To, not worthy. And let's say you were called to speak in front of people because my biggest thing was rejection and not speaking. And he will, he will silence you. He will silence you because he knows the magnitude of the impact that you're going to make for the kingdom. So if you say yes and you step out and you know that there's something inside of you, God may be telling somebody out there, to, to start a nursery school. You don't know what that yes is going to become in those children's oh lives. You don't know. God might, might be sending that lady, um, the next Uncle Angus, or the next worldwide evangelist that's growing up in a home where there's no word, where there's no prayer. But by saying yes, that child will end up with you and you will impart and start speaking and praying over that child. And the destiny within that child will be unlocked. So that is what your yes does, even in something simple as starting a nursery school. It's just to say, yes, Lord, I don't understand, but I'll do it. I'll do it. And then only afterwards, you'll see the magnitude of your yes. Some, um, something that I want to say while you're speaking, I'm thinking about it. You know what? <laughs> when we say yes and when we move into, into purpose and the, the, the dots that connects with it, yes. the flame that we touch, today I can never ever in my life, even if I never see you ever again in my life, Linda, or you never hear me ever again at your home mm -hmm. or wherever you are, maybe you're immigrating, whatever. But something supernatural yes. is taking place yes. in the spirit Amen. once we are here, yes. once you switch on the television and say, yes. I want to watch Step yes. Up. Once somebody take this magazine and say, I want to read the, la the la Lady Rose magazine. Mm -hmm. You know what is happening? Let me tell you what is happening. You are saying, God, I'm saying yes for your word to yes. penetrate and, act and gain access into my life. So what is now happening is I am saying I can never, ever write my story and leave you out. Yes. There's a chapter in my life yes. that's got Linda's name Amen. on it. So yes. wherever you are, allow God to place your name in a yes. chapter of someone's book yes. that you've never, Amen. ever met Amen. before. Because Amen. people are touching this magazine that you will never yes. maybe see ever in your life. Never. We get testimonies back concerning the magazine where, where there was one specific testimony where people were in another religion and um, the woman bought the magazine. I think it was about two weeks. She read through the whole magazine. That whole house came to salvation just by reading. But with that, God made me actually made me a promise, and He's keeping to it. So when we say yes, it's so much greater. Um, my mom committed suicide about two years ago, and when when at her funeral, my brothers and sister couldn't they couldn't speak, and they asked me to say something. And before I could get myself, I said, "I claim a million souls for what Satan has stolen." Sure. 
wat sy in die stoel en I claim a million souls. And leaving the place, I said to Quentin, I said to him, um, we only go into Africa and sometimes into other parts of the world. The two of us will never reach a million souls. How are we going to do this? Not realizing oh. what I said. And when the first magazine went out, God said to me, there will always be, be um, a prayer, a salvation for salvation in the magazine. And he said, this is how I'm going to do it. You just had to speak it. And this is how I'm going to do it. And how are we getting testimony after testimony of women that are sitting, that are broken. Oh, there was a lady Christ. that had a dream about a certain cover of the magazine. She didn't even know that the magazine existed. And the next day, a friend brought her the magazine and inside the magazine was an answer that she was looking for, that somebody wrote an article on. So God is doing it. <laughs> but we're just saying, yes, he's, he's going to reach the souls. And you said yes, yes, and you're sitting on step up today that, yes. re that reaches millions of households. I mean, that's another way. So it was not million, it was millions. millions. Yes, this is we busy. ask for million, God's going to give us a billion. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. Yeah. Your yes needs a place. When God gave me that, your yes needs a place. Mm -hmm. You cannot say yes and God will not place you. That's true. When you say yes to God, God will assign three yes. things to you. A man or a woman. Yes. Time is connected to that. Mm. And a place is connected yes. to that. That's true. God will always connect you with the right people for the word of God. Because yes. when you said, when you were, I never met you mm. two years ago mm. when your mother passed mm. away. But you said, God, a million people. Yes. But when you made that statement, you brought Chantal White's, Chantal White's and step up in yes. alignment That's with true. your million. Amen. So that God can get you to the platform of not the million, but the millions. Yes. So you know what? You call those things into existence. Um, by speaking it. By speaking it. Yes. What is it, ladies, that you need to speak to release in the atmosphere for God to move? Because He's waiting. Yes. He's waiting for yes. you to speak. Yes. He's waiting for you to say something mm. for Him to move. So what is it today that God is waiting on for you to say? Because remember, you think, oh, now I'm saying something so new. No, 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 no. You are only releasing what is God's yes. desire for you. Oh, yes. You are only releasing in the atmosphere and in the spirit, the heart of God for you. We're going to hear what you have to say about legacy, your destiny, timing, place, and that man or that woman in your life. Maybe that woman could be Linda right here on Step Up, but is connected to someone. We'll be right back. To me, purpose means fulfilling the destiny that God is calling for. Purpose to me is um, becoming a better person than you were um, yesterday or the day before. I am so different that God, that I put a smile on God's face because then it means that that which is called me, place me, if I'm fulfilling that, and that brings joy and peace to his heart. If I can make a change in someone else's life, um, that um, to me is fulfilling my purpose. My heart's desire is to minister to young women. It's like teamwork. You need someone to um, help you um, achieve what you want in life. Ladies, welcome back to Step Up. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, I don't want this moment to end. Yeah, I have to agree with you. <laughs> We are just really breaking bread and sharing. And you know what, ladies, don't miss this. Don't miss Step Up. Call, really, when I say this, call your friends. Okay. Go to the website. Search for information. There's a, there's mm. a well of yes. knowledge coming from this platform. Mm. Linda, we talked about so many things. Mm. We talked about so many things. And I almost want to say, let the cameras run even while we're having Yo. a break, because you know you <laughs> never know. So I want to continue yeah. as we are coming to a close on, on this part of, of, of Step Up, of this series. I'm busy reading a book called Let the Lioness Arise. Mm -hmm. And I was so encouraged on this because it was actually just during the December when I started reading the book, somebody blessed me with mm -hmm. a book. And when I read it, I thought of you. Um, and I thought, how prophetic is this? Yeah. Because what it basically sp speaks about is when lionesses go to hunt, mm -hmm. they never do it alone. They go together. Sure. Why am I saying that? Let us celebrate one yes. another's gift. Yes. I must celebrate Lady Rose so that you can celebrate yes. Step Up. Not that you have to, yeah. but let's lift want up each to. other because I want mm. to. Mm. So what would you say on just, just encouraging women to step aside from differences and walk away from things that doesn't really matter and just walk, work together? 
why you thought of me is very significant because that's exactly my heart. I don't like doing things alone. Um, I always love invol involving, involving other everybody. women. And the word says it. We are a body. Not everybody can be the eye, the hands, the feet. The, we are a body functioning together. And I always say to God, um, in school I used to have um, boyfriends. Not boyfriends, but friends, friends as boys. Me too, me too. Because the girls were just full ah. of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said to God, um, if women can only realize, and I've seen it, I've seen it when women unite. And they put their minds together and they this start is what working happens. together. Yes, and this is what, we, what we've experienced today. That is what happens. So Satan knows that. He knows and he comes in with jealousy, with insecurity. Uh, he is better than mine. All that, f those fleshly stuff. We can shift away from that. And I can see the gift in you. And I encourage you. Yes, Chantal, go for it. Increase your platform. Increase mm. the people that you reach through TV. Increase it. I'm going to reach the benefit of that as well. as well. And I'm not doing it to reach the benefit. I'm doing it because I truly want to support yes, you. Yes, I love who that, you are. Yes. I love you. And if women can get to that, we've, there's so much power. That is why that book, I've never read it, but that book, Lionesses Hunts Together. So if you think a lioness that hunts on her own, it's not going to get... Not effective. It's not, not effective. effective. But when we come together, the power that is within that when we come together... And I actually had a dream, and we're doing a conference on that, where God showed me that different ministries, women's ministries, need to share a platform. And in this dream, we were about five women standing on this platform, just sharing the platform, different gifts mm. flowing. And in the end, we did nothing. Because of the unity that was amongst the women on the platform, on the stage, Jesus walked into that auditorium and he started working. Mm. We did nothing. Just the anointing that was on each of our lives differently started flowing in and through the women. And women who were in wheelchair, wheelchairs got up. The sick was healed. Brokenness was healed because of the unity of the women gathering together but on stage. But he must stage. command a blessing yes. according to Psalms 133. Where this unity commands a blessing. And that is exactly the heart of Lady Rose. We get different women to write for us, to share the platform. When this magazine goes out, everybody won't relate to my story. That's true. There's That's about 10% that can relate to me. There's 10% that can relate, relate to you. And then we get all the other women. So in the end, we send out something that everybody can pick up and relate to. Yeah. There's something in there for everybody. So that was my heart from the beginning with Lady Rose, is to unite the body in Christ in one platform. Mm. Yes, there's an overseen, there's order and all that, but it's one platform where everybody will get something. Mm. You will get something out of this magazine because your story is in there, yes. my story is yes. in there. All the other women that's writing stories are in there. So you will get something out of it. So lioness arise. Yes. Start encouraging each other. If you see um, your friend loves roses to plant in a garden, it's for a reason. Buy the roses and encourage her to plant it. It's as simple as that. When we're faithful in the little, then God will start entrusting you with more. So when we become excited for each other, then God will entrust more to you. Because he knows that he can trust you, that jealousy and envy is not in your heart. Mm. Because he can then trust you with more of his plan for your life. So yes, lionesses, arise, arise. Take each other's hands and arise. And you know what? The sound that a lioness makes. Yes. When I, I had the, the opportunity twice to go on safari, um, when you hear a lion roar, mm. you will yeah. know he's the king of the jungle. Mm. Yes. Why am I saying that? When women can make a sound... Mm a righteous sound, yes, a sound together. together. Mm. This is a sound coming together. together. Yes. This is a sound yes, coming together. Because yes. your sound and my sound coming together makes a harmony. Yes. And that is what blesses God. Because yes. we speak about the fragrance. Because remember when we pray, the Bible mm. says in Revelations that the incense mm. of the prayers of the saints yes. must fill the golden bowls mm. before God on the mm. altar. Mm. And once that has been done, there will be earthquakes, there will be yes. lightning, and that's the signs and the miracles mm. that will take place. Mm. So ladies, what we are saying is a lady owning this magazine, myself would step mm. up. Let us not be selfish. Yes, that's true. On the platforms. Mm. Mm. Because when I saw, when I met Linda, she offered me, and I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm writing for mm. this magazine. I'm writing to single women that yes. may not have an opportunity yes. to watch Step Up, but they have an opportunity to read. Yes. And when you know somebody needs a word, bless them with mm. a magazine. Mm. 
this is what we're saying. Let us work together. Mm. Let us embrace one another's gifts. Let us in the spirit lift up one another's arms and say, let me run with you. Mm. Yes, and I believe we're coming to a season of faceless ministries where God is taking people that are willing to, to give up their kingdom, if I can call yeah, it that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, to surrender their faces, if I can call it that, and place Him in their place. So if you connect all these faceless ministries together, it forms the body of Christ. The unity and the power within that is, it's immeasurable. And we've seen it. Quentin and I have seen it where we go and minister, where we link up with people like yourself. Mm. That's, it's not about you. It's not about how many people are following you. It's yes. about the kingdom. It's about yes. the heart of God. And when that unites, when those type of people unite, when those type of women unite, the power within that, the word says that we as women have got the power within us to crush Satan's head. Yes. You will only bruise your heel, <laughs> but you will vitally crush his head as the Amplified says. Yes. So that's within us. So that's why he always comes in with division through women. Yeah. Men oh. don't have issues with each other, but women always do. But why? Because he knows when we come together, power the, the power of the unity amongst women, we will crush his head because of the unity. I want to... I want to close with this and saying, God is trying to get your attention yes. because, you know, let me tell you why, because there's such a great anointing upon your life, wherever you are. And you may be somewhere in Africa in little house saying, but Chantal, God cannot have a plan for me. <laughs> if we sit and tell yes. you our testimony, you will, you will know God's got a plan yes. with you. Amen. He will use your brokenness. He will, he will use your lost. Mm. He will use your disappointment. Mm. He will use your grief for His glory. Yes, most definitely. Linda, I want you to just bless us and tell us a little bit more about the magazine as we're coming to a close because I want every single woman who watches Step Up to buy a magazine. <laughs> what can we get in this magazine? Um, in this magazine is articles um, of women's lives. So we, what I do is, even if you want to write, if there's somebody out there that's got a story to tell, I always say there might be a mommy at home that's got a magnificent story to tell that can impact other people's life, but she doesn't have a platform. So it's not just a story. The focus of the magazine is 100% yes. word-based. 100%. God I can said really, to me, I say amen to that. If you, if you compromise that in any way, I'll take it away. He said to me that if you compromise, because his word and truth needs to get out there. So it's 100% word based. So in it, you'll, you'll, there's, there's women that write teaching articles. There's testimonies of women, um, how God has walked their lives from brokenness to holiness. There's something for the children. There's also something for the men. There's family matters. So it's actually a whole magazine all in one. A family it's magazine. a family magazine all in one. It's focused on the women, but when it lays in the house, your husband can pick it up and you'll also get a story in it. Um, Uncle Angus is in there. My husband writes for the magazine. There's a whole, there's about five men mm. that also writes for the magazine. So it's solid food. We'll get testimonies of women that say um, they're glad it's a quarterly magazine because they yeah. can't get through it within a week. They, they yeah, spend it's a bit too it. Much, yeah, it's too it? much. It gets too much. So they, they truly take one article at a time and they work it through. So it's, it's meat. It's not something that you will read within a day. It, it's meat. Awesome. Yeah. Linda, every time, every, at, at the closing of every step up, I normally pray for the viewers, for the, for the ladies at say, Chantal, I'm here and I want somebody to pray with me. And what I, like I always say, I touch someone in the yes. spirit. I touch a woman's yes. hand somewhere in Ghana, mm -hmm. somewhere in Nigeria, somewhere somewhere in Africa. Yeah. And the Bible says on Matthew 18, verse 19, where two of you are touch yes. and agree, touch yes. and agree. This is a prophetic mm. move. I will do whatever you ask yes. through my Father, which is in heaven, he says. Mm. I want you to pray and send and, and bless us on Step Up, bless the viewers of Step Up today. I, don't, I, don't want, I want you as a prophet of God to just really speak a blessing over, over our people. What I see in the spirit is, is keys. I'm going to pray that God will release keys that will unlock destinies today. <laughs> that you will receive testimony upon testimony of women emailing you and sending you messages that, they, that their destiny was unlocked today. So I'm, I'm going to pray for that. I want to pray for the activation of that. Amen. His Abba Father, we just want to come this afternoon before you. We want to give you all the honor and all the glory. 
Lord, I pray that those keys will drop into the people's hands watching this in program right now. Jesus. Lord, I pray even for a physical manifestation where they will receive keys as Jesus. presents and they will know, Lord Jesus, that you have activated them today. Father, I pray that these keys will be pressed into their spirit, man, and it will unlock the destiny that Satan has kept locked up at, until until now, Lord Jesus, yes, where they are called for such a time as this. Lord, I see women out there that needs to speak, but there's a hand in front of their mouth. Satan is trying to silence them. Lord, I Today pray right in now in Jesus. Jesus' name that you will release those hands in front of their mouth, that they will just start speaking and the, the people that will hear their voices will be amazed at the well of wisdom that will just flow out of their mouths, Father God. Yeah. I want to pray for those people who are watching this program, mm. but they don't know you. Father, I want to pray that your Holy Spirit will stir up a hunger inside of their spirit to just fall on their knees and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, these keys that you are releasing are keys of finances that has been locked up for people Hallelujah. that need breakthrough in, in finances, Father Jesus. God. I pray that you will release your angels to Jesus. unlock the doors and the, the doors that has been kept closed for them to receive financial breakthrough. Name. Lord Jesus, healing. Healing, Lord Jesus, and you will unlock the healing over their lives, emotional and physical. In Father, Jesus I truly name. pray that today will be a marker within their destiny, where they will look back on and they will say that Amen. Jesus has touched Amen. my life. He has Hallelujah. touched my life and change has come. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Linda, for visiting us this last couple of Thank days. You. and just in pouring out, you know, the blessing of the Lord upon us. So once again, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. To all the ladies, God bless you until next time.